and welcome back to another vlog so it has been a few months since i've actually filmed a vlog and put a vlog out but this weekend we are getting ready for christmas it's the first weekend of december so we're trying to get a bit organized so i thought i'd bring you along and show you that so it's sunday today we spent saturday yesterday sort of getting the house tidy and clean ready to put the decorations up today but before we put the decorations up, we are going to head into Stockport and get a bit of Christmas shopping done, hopefully get some people's presents, um, little bits like wrapping paper. So yeah, I thought I'd bring you along and show you that and we can maybe see what's going on in Stockport Town Centre as well. I did already put this garland up yesterday because it is an absolute nightmare to get up. Um, so I thought I'd get that out of the way and then it can be a bit more of an enjoyable experience today once that's up. And then we've got this fake tree here, which we were going to go with. We're not so sure now we've put it up. We just feel like we need the magic of a big, fluffy, real tree. But we'll go and see how much they are later and we'll make the decision then. This is a tree that we bought when we were in our flat and it did fit really nicely in the flat. But we just think it's a bit small for this living room. And we're just used to having a lovely, real tree now. And I just thought I'd show you what I've done here. We bought a pack of Christmas cards in Disney World last year. And we have some left over and I had this leftover frame as well. So we've just put that in there. I don't know if we're going to keep it there because it gets kind of hidden behind the garland. But we'll keep it somewhere. And then we've got our two big boxes of decorations waiting to go up there. So it's around 10 o'clock now. We will head into Stockport shortly. Hopefully it won't be too busy. And it probably will. It's, you know, Christmas shopping. But we'll get a bit done. We're not, we don't need to get too much. And we do usually do a lot online anyway, just to avoid the stress of the, you know, Christmas shopping crowds. But it's just to get a few smaller things that wouldn't really be worth paying the delivery cost for. So yeah, we'll head into Stockport shortly. And we'll show you what's going on in the town centre as well, because there is usually things going on in Stockport Town Centre. I know they have their own like little mini markets and some Christmassy things for kids going on and whatnot so we'll see what's going on and we'll show you that. We are going to go for lunch as well I think. Not too sure where we'll go but we'll show you that as well. So let's get going to Stockport. Okay so we're out, we're on our way. It is very cold and rainy so I'm all wrapped up in my big fluffy coat. Um, we're just going to stop off at the news agents that has American drinks and see what they've got in. And then I think the first stop will be Primark. Just been to the general store next to the frog. And um, what did you get? Uh, Fanta orange. The American one. The, the American one. one. <laughs> With all the sugar. Which, <laughs> while in America, I did get really sick of. But yeah. I think 12 months on, I think it's worth another try. Yeah. <laughs> Let's head towards Underbanks and then towards Primark. Okay, so we're just coming through Underbanks now. And um, they've got the tree up there. We did come and watch that be turned on last weekend, was it? Yes, it was. And we've got all the lights up here now as well. It's all looking very Christmassy. And this cafe here has got all its Christmas um, stuff in the window. It looks really nice. And I don't think I've ever actually shown this mural um, in the last Stockport vlog because I think I noticed it after that vlog. Um, but that's up the side of the building there and that's really nice. And more Christmas window shop fronts. So we're just on Underbanks now and during um, Christmas Stockport do like a Christmas trail around the centre. I think it's run by Totally Stockport. We've just seen the first sign of it being set up for today. There's this like um, inflatable snow globe things. I think you can get pictures inside that and stuff. There's an elf in there already. Yeah, there is an elf in there and a Christmas pudding helping set it up as well. And this cafe is all done up for Christmas too. That looks so lovely. Okay, so we're all done in Primark, just got a few little bits and fluffy socks and stuff as presents for me, from Alex. And then we'll just show you around the Mersey Way now because they've got loads of little Christmassy bits going on. Okay, so first like big thing they've got is this big post box so kids can put their letters to Santa in there. It's really cool. And then you can see they've got all the markets going on as well. So they've got food and mulled wine and everything. And then inside the Mersey Way, you've got the giving tree here, so you can buy presents for children who might not get a present otherwise, um, and you put a tag on there with your donation. 
and they've got a big Santa over there and some stuff for children going on as well and all the lovely baubles up here as well. The Nutella cafe there, got crepes and everything. So one of the huts they have is Greek gyros and then over there you can get burgers, hot dogs, barbecue pulled pork, loaded fried halloumi fries and then just a better look at the post box there so you put your letter in then you can press the button and watch it fly off to the North Pole so that's really good if you've got little ones and then they've got the mulled wine and bratwurst currywurst and then some huts with like dream catchers and other Christmassy things in and then this one here as well with chocolate kisses and other desserts fudge all looks really good got a bit of a ride there as well you can see they've got some construction walls up here they are sort of redoing all the paving through the centre um, just trying to improve the town centre a bit just thought I'd show you as we're going past the coffee block opened a couple of months ago and apparently it's really nice I've not been yet but I'll have to and they've got their Christmas decorations up as well and there's some reindeer and a sleigh up there so I thought we'd just come and walk past the market halls no market on today but you can see they've got the Christmas tree up they've got all these lights up here that are really lovely at night got an elf station over there so it's like an elf trail for kids and they can get a makeover like an elf I think <laughs> So we are nearly done with shopping now. We've only really got Asda left to do and because there's a couple of presents we know that they have in there we want to get. But we're just going to stop for food because it is midday and we're really hungry now. So we're going to go to Arden Arms, which is somewhere we've been quite a few times. We know we like it. It's like a traditional pub. We're going to head in there and eat and then carry on shopping before we go home and decorate. really lovely lunch at Arden Arms. I had the melted brie and cranberry sandwich which was really good and Alex had the fish and chips. How was your fish and chips? Yeah it's really good. It's always really nice in there especially because yeah. I grew up by the seaside so I know what good fish and chips taste like so mm. I give that one a thumbs up. And you know the food's always going to be good in there I and mean, really reasonable prices as well. So we're just at the light cinema now just outside of it um, we're not going to the cinema today but we are just going to quickly get a bubble tea from Cherry's Boba they've got some special Christmas ones so I'm going to see what they've got and then I'll have that and then we'll head home to put some decorations up. Okay so I've got my boba tea so this is one of the Christmas specials or winter specials it's the hot tiramisu latte and they're also doing chocolate orange hot ones as well. We're back at the house now I've had a really good time in Stockport just browsing the shops having lunch and getting my boba tea and um, the boba tea was really good as well just quickly show you what we got we didn't get too much but I will show you what we did get so I've just took out anything that might be presents or anything so first just as a treat for myself I got these because I keep seeing them all over TikTok and everything and they look so cozy yes they should keep me warm and then these socks as well they're really soft and I love wearing fluffy socks at winter so I just thought I'd get myself some new ones and then these are from Primark as well to when we're wrapping the presents put around it I always like to put ribbon around and then some sellotape because we will inevitably run out of sellotape when we're wrapping presents and these are also fluffy socks from Primark they're actually from Alex for me for Christmas so they'll be going away whereas these two I've bought for myself so I can wear them now and then we went in the charity shops as well and Alex spotted this book that he wanted so we picked that up and that's about it I think we're gonna have to get quite a few things online we didn't manage to get everything we needed to because it was quite busy and hectic but it was nice to see the town centre all done up for Christmas and just get those little bits something we do every Sunday at the minute is change our sleeps until Disney thing instead of doing it every day we do it every Sunday just because when you do it every day it feels like it goes very slowly so we can change that now and that'll be 150 there we go that's all up to date now 150 sleeps until Disney and we did already pick up this wrapping paper this year from Lidl I'm not sure it'll cover all the presents but it'll be a good start it's got Mickey and Minnie um, it's like the skiing range we did try and get from Primark today, there's a du Sherpa duvet cover that has a similar 
print on it that we had our eyes on, but they didn't have the double size. They only had king or single. Um, so we might have to look online for that. And one more thing before we start decorating. This is our Christmas countdown cushion. We've had this for a few years now. So we need to move that on to the 4th of December. So I've just been looking on Facebook and I've just found a bit more info about those elf stations we saw in town. The trail with the little elf and um, they had like sort of gazebos set up and those people dressed as elves and um, so what that is is you can grab yourself a free elf makeover you have to visit all of the elf stations and that's on sundays on december 4th which is today and then they're doing it on the 11th and the 18th of december as well and that's from 10 a.m to 3 p.m so you visit all four ELF yourself makeover stations and collect a free I am a complete ELF badge. So that's all for free. Um, so that would be a really nice thing to do if you're looking for something to do with your kids um, near to Christmas. So we are all ready to start decorating now. I've got my Christmas jumper on and then I just thought I'd show you as well. I have got my new leggings and socks on that I bought today and these leggings from Primark with the faux fur lining, they are so cosy and really comfy, definitely recommend these, they are only £7 and the socks are really cosy too for £2. We have been kind of umming and ahhing all day and going back and forth between should we get a real tree or use the fake tree and save a bit of money and save having to get rid of it when we're also trying to move house in January. I think we're going to go with a real tree. Either way, on a Sunday now at this time, I don't think we'd be able to get one from anywhere. The place we were thinking of getting it from is definitely closed now. So we're going to put all the other decorations up take this fake tree upstairs we usually put it in the hallway upstairs so we can decorate that today i've got a little mini one that i usually do roll rose gold decorations on as well i usually do that in the spare room so i'll try and put that up today as well and um, we'll put all the other decorations up and then we'll have to film doing the tree when we get that a different day maybe tomorrow okay so so far we've just got everything out these are all stuff that's going to go on the fireplace up here so we'll do that in a second but first i'm just going to put the reef on the door so this is our reef here i think if we'd have moved we were going to look at getting a nice sort of you know real one this year but seeing as we're not moved we're just using all the stuff we've already got instead of buying anything new um, and this one's really lovely anyway so i'm going to pop that on the door and of course the first thing that you need to do when you're doing your Christmas decorations is put some Christmas music on and we usually go for the pop punk Christmas playlist. The time of the year now you got people falling in love Brings you good cheer now when the mistletoe is above. Can you hear Santa driving the sleigh? Or was it the Grinch and he got away? Kevin's alone, not acting afraid. Never get a white Christmas, but today, snowflakes falling down. It's Christmas time. But you're not here right now to put up the lights The candles on the mantel, they don't flicker like they used to With the snowflakes falling down It's not Christmas time without you No, 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 no So just to show you where we've got up to, we've done all the fireplace, so we've got all our stuff up here, got the Polar Express tickets and the Santa Bell there. Um, these are our mugs from the Cologne Christmas Markets which we went to in I think 2017. Yeah. Yep. Um, and then we've got a little snow globe there. Baymax from Walt Disney World when we went in 2021. And then this did have peppermint bark in it, that was also from Disney World. Um, it's just got some leftover Christmas cards in now, but I think it makes a nice decoration as well. 
um, and we've got our little Santa gnome there as well and our deer and of course the garland and then we've also got our stockings that I ordered when we got back from Disney World Mickey and um, Minnie and Mickey um, and they've got our names on if you can see that as well um, so they're really nice and then we've just got some candles down here with the sleeps till Disney countdown. We've got everything we normally have on the windowsill um, and then we've also got these fairy lights and down here I've got the stuff that needs to go in the window so we have some lights like some snowflake ones um, a Merry Christmas banner and then some stickers like the gnome Santa stickers um, I don't think I'll put them up just yet I think we'll wait until we get our tree at some point this week and I'll do it at the same time that we do the tree. And then over on the sideboard here, we've got a little tea light holder. This used to have like a mini Christmas tree in and now I just put potpourri and some baubles in it. And then we've got our two mini trains. And then we've got this empty plant pot here. I'm gonna try and get either a mini Christmas tree or a poinsettia to put in there. We've got this bottle, the lights don't actually work anymore, but my mum made that for us. And then we've got our glittery hedgehog, and then we've got our Christmas cards from Walt Disney World put in frames there, they look quite nice. So now all we're missing down here is the Christmas tree, and as I say, I don't think we'll get one at this time on a Sunday now. So we'll maybe go tomorrow after work and see if we can get one and then we'll film doing the tree then. But for now I am going to do the upstairs trees and I'll film that and show you. I'm going to start with the spare room first upstairs. Luckily I have actually left the lights up from last year, these ones here. They took me so long to put up last year that I just didn't want to take them down. Um, I will link last year's video below so you can see me attempting to put them up last year. I did manage it in the end but it took so long. Um, so I just need to do the tree this year. It's been a few years now and this cold town is not quite the same. I wish you were here now by the fire stoke in the flame. Can you hear Santa driving the sleigh? Or was it the Grinch and he got away? Kevin's alone, not acting afraid. Waiting for a white Christmas and today. Snowflakes falling down, it's Christmas time. But you're not here right now to put up the lights The candles on the mantel, they don't flicker like Okay, so that's the spare room all done. Now, we were going to put the fake tree up here where we usually put it, um, which we have the blue and silver decorations on. However, I'll show you where we normally put it. This is where we normally put it and we have all snowflakes and lights on here usually as well. However, all our moving boxes are here, waiting to be packed. Um, so I just don't think we can really be bothered finding somewhere else to put those to clear the area out. So I think we're going to leave the blue and silver tree for this year. Um, but if you want to see what that looks like, I will link last year's video below and you can go have a look at that. Hello, so a little bit of time has passed since we were last filming. We were last filming on the 4th of December, a Sunday. It is now Wednesday the 14th of December, so getting closer and closer to Christmas. So we've still not got our tree up, this is what we're going to do now. We have fully decided against a real tree now. We were planning on getting one, but then that week after we'd just been filming, I came down with quite a bad cold, um, so we didn't even really have energy to think about going to get a tree. And this weekend we've been busy. Been Bit too close to Christmas now and we just want to get this tree up and um, so we are going to put the fake one up you can just see it sort of there in the background you will also have noticed as well my hair color has changed since we was last filming I got dyed pink this weekend we're gonna get on with the tree now and we will film while we put it up and you can see how we get on Making our Christmas memories I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep Yeah, I spend my time running around Keeping people pleased But 
This is my favorite holiday. It's a chance to start over new. 'Cause I missed you so, I'm letting go of everything but you. These are the good times with you, baby. This year is just gonna be you and me. Hang by the fire and chill. Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories. Oh, and I've been longing to hold you close. Forget about everyone else. Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories. Oh oh, la da 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 oh oh, la da 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 oh oh, la da da da. Making our Christmas memories. I've been wrapping presents for you. I've been hanging marbles on the tree, and I've lit my house with Christmas lights. So you should come back home to me. Up in the morning, I'm gonna play those carols that you love. We'll be singing all the melodies until the sun comes up. These are the good times with you, baby. This year is just gonna be you and me. Hang by the fire and chill. Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories. So there we go, the tree is all up. Christmas 2022's tree. I actually think it looks really nice this year. I think we were a bit worried um, about not having a real tree. I wasn't really as enthusiastic about it this year, but I actually think now that it's done, it looks really nice. Because it looked a bit gappy before putting everything on it, but once the lights and the ribbon and the baubles are on, um, it looks quite full and really nice actually. Yeah, I think I, I think I remember it being far more guppy than it was this year. Maybe we did a bit better at kind of I spreading mean, the, the branches when yeah. we put it up. Yeah. yeah, and obviously when we have the blue stuff on it, we've not got as much of the blue and silver decorations, but we have quite a lot of these this colour scheme decorations because usually we've got a big tree to cover. Mm -hmm. um, so we didn't use as many as we normally would either, so it was a bit quicker than when we have the real tree. Yeah. Um, so I'd definitely consider doing a fake tree again as well because it does look really nice in the end. Yeah, maybe we'll look to get kind of bigger, bigger, bushier one mm -hmm. in future, but yeah. I, think it, I still think it looks really nice and it's just nice to have a tree up now yeah. um, a couple of weeks into December. Yeah, definitely. So we get to enjoy that in the run up to Christmas now and we usually leave it up just after New Year for a bit as well. Now we can get in the Christmas spirit? Yeah. yeah. But this might be the last vlog that I put out before Christmas now. We are doing some stuff this weekend and in the run up to Christmas so I may end up filming that but I'm not sure if I'll get it edited and out before Christmas anyway. So if you have made it to the end of this video, big thank you for watching. I hope you like our decorations and we hope you have a really lovely Christmas and that you have a good 2023, a happy new year. Yeah and if we don't see you before then, I suppose we'll See you in the new year? Yeah, we'll see you in the new year. Bye. Bye. Life is such a blessing, oh. Life is filled with mysteries. So explore and learn your lessons. And create some memories.